These are the notes for section 6.4, factoring difference of perfect squares. We have two steps to factor the difference of perfect squares. Factor out GCF if possible, and then use the formula a squared minus b squared equals the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b. Before we get to examples of factoring difference of perfect squares, let's talk about what a perfect square is. Perfect square is a product of multiplying the same term by itself. So what I've done is listed some perfect squares that we have. And what I like to do is go over the reason why each one is a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square because 2 times 2. 9 is a perfect square because 3 times 3. 25 is a perfect square because 5 times 5. Now we're going to move to our second grouping, variables. x squared is a perfect square because of x times x. x squared y to the 8th is a perfect square because of x y to the 4th times x y to the 4th. And now we're going to move on to the combination of a number and a variable. 4x squared is a perfect square because of 2x times 2x. 9x squared y to the 8th is a perfect square because of 3x y to the 4th times 3x y to the 4th. And the last one, 81a to the 8th, is a perfect square because 9a to the 4th times 9a to the 4th. In our first example, x squared minus 4, let's just take a look at what kind of expression we have. The reason why I know that this is a difference of perfect squares is because we have a minus sign which represents a difference, and x squared and 4 are also perfect squares as we, as we have seen here with 4 and x squared here. If we take a look at the formula, we have a difference of perfect square in the formula, a squared minus b squared. Now the reason why a squared is a perfect square is because we have a times a, and the reason why we have b squared as a perfect square is because b times b. If you look at the formula, the reason why the term is a perfect square is what it's equal to. So the reason why a squared is a perfect square because of a times a, and the reason why we have b squared as a perfect square is b times b. And then we also put it as two binomials separated by an addition and a subtraction sign. So we're going to do that right here as well. We're going to set up both parentheses, and we know that the signs are different because of the formula. And then we're going to list the reason why x squared is a perfect square at the beginning. The reason why x squared is a perfect square is because of x times x. And the reason why 4 is a perfect square is because of 2 times 2. In our next example, we have a difference of perfect square. So we're going to set up our parentheses, put the signs in, and write the reason why this is a perfect square, x, y to the fourth x, y to the fourth, and then 2x and 2x. In our next example, we have to be careful that we also look for a GCF. In the previous two examples, we didn't have a GCF. Here, we have a GCF of 2, so we have to factor out the GCF. And then we're left with the difference of perfect square, just like we have here. It's the same exact problem, except we have a 2 here. So I'm going to bring down the 2, set up the two parentheses. The reason why this is a perfect square is because x, y to the fourth, x, y to the fourth. Put in your signs, plus, minus. And then the reason why this is a perfect square is 2x and 2x. In our next example, 1 minus s to the fourth, we have two perfect squares, and this is the difference. So I'm going to set up my parentheses. 1 plus s squared, 1 minus s squared. If you notice in this example, however, we are still left with a difference of perfect square after we apply the formula. So what we have to do is we have to factor this as well. The 1 plus s squared gets left alone, and we're just going to continue to factor the 1 minus s squared. So I'm going to put in my signs, and the reason why 1 is a perfect square is because of 1 times 1. And the reason why s squared is a perfect square is because of s times s. And now we have factored 1 minus s to the fourth completely. So whenever you're factoring a difference of perfect square, you may end up with another difference of perfect square that you have to continue to factor. In our last example, we're going to factor out the GCF, which is 4. Then factor the difference of perfect square. We'll get x plus 2 and x minus 2. 